Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is fill up your sink with the hottest water that you can get out of your tap. And then I like to use the Dawn dish soap. It seems to cut through the grease and the grime better than any other dish soap. And then I like to add about a quarter cup of white vinegar right into the water. Okay, now we're ready to fill the sink up with bottles. What I like to do is I like to take the hot, hot water out of the tap and fill up the bottles before I put it in the soapy water. It helps uh, loosen up the adhesive from the inside out to get those labels off. And it looks like because of COVID and everything being closed and we can't get out and about, we might be enjoying a few more drinks than we usually do. But it sure provides some pretty bottles to craft with. I love using my glass jars for all kinds of projects. I like to paint them with my homemade chalk paint and then I like to decoupage on them. I also like to do a medium transfer with Mod Podge on them or just uh, even just to keep and propagate my plants in them. Another tip is I fill up my kettle and I boil the water and then I pour it right into the sink because the water coming out of your tap isn't that hot as a boiling kettle full of water. So I put a full kettle right into my sink and then I let everything sit and soak. Now we're gonna let everything soak for about 15 minutes. Now we're waiting for everything to soak. I'm gonna show you, these labels are really hard to soak off in water. They're like a uh, plastic label. So I'm gonna use my heat gun and I find that helps take these off pretty good. And you're just gonna take your heat gun on high setting and just be really careful because it's really hot and the plastic will melt a little bit. You don't wanna burn yourself, but just be really careful and just slowly go up and down the whole label until you can kind of feel when it's starting to lift away from the jar. Don't grab it with your fingers when it's hot. Use a scraper or you will burn yourself. Okay, it's cooled down a little bit and you can peel that label right off. But as you can see, there's a little bit of sticky residue still left on the jar. I'll show you how to get that off in a minute. Okay, it's been 15 minutes and as you can see, some of the labels have actually just lifted completely off. And I know some girls, if the labels come off in one piece, they like to save them. They'll dry them out and they'll use them on other crafting projects. And this one, you can see the label came right off, but it did leave some residue right on. So we're gonna have to use another technique to get that off. What I like to do is I like just to grab one of my butter knives and use the smooth end of it and just scrape it. And most of the stuff will probably just scrape right away. My husband loves to cook and he says every time he goes in the kitchen to cook a meal, that's when I decide that I want to take labels off of glass bottles. I'm just going to empty out the water out of it and I'll show you how well just scraping it with a knife takes that adhesive right off of it. And there you can see how it's nice and clean. I'm going to save the rest of it on that bottle um, to show you other techniques that we can, we can try. And this one here it didn't really soak off, but the top part of the label uh, is quite loose. So I'm just gonna take my knife again and use the dull side and just scrape it away. And you can see that it comes off, the paper label comes off quite easily. It is leaving some adhesive on the bottle though. So I'll, once we get all the paper off of that, I'll show you a technique to get all of that adhesive off. And you can see the sticky residue that's left on there. And the gin bottle. And that label is actually gonna peel off quite easy. And then I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna scrape off the back of that label too. And there's nothing better on a summer night, a hot summer night, having a nice gin and tonic. And I love the color of the bottle, the blue. Not quite sure what I'll do with it yet, 
but I'll think of uh, some pretty way to upcycle it. And as um, I'm scraping away on this, it's actually not leaving any adhesive. So it's coming really clean just with soaking it and just taking a knife and scraping off the paper. Now the Crown Royal bottle, the label just comes right off, no problem. And there's no sticky residue underneath. So I'm just gonna give it a nice little wipe with the cloth and it's gonna come off nice and clean. Now let's see how this little barbecue sauce bottle turned out. I love this little bottle actually. It's a really cute bottle and I have a great up idea on how to upcycle this. And I think that's going to be my next video. So stay tuned for that. And this little bottle is gonna come nice and clean just with a little bit of scraping. Okay, there is a little bit of adhesive stuck on this blue bottle in the one corner. And I'm going to try, I've never tried this technique before, but I've seen some girls that have used it and it's olive oil. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of olive oil where the sticky residue is and then rub it in. And it actually is working. It is taking some of that adhesive off. I'm just gonna take my little knife here and scrape out a little bit. And it actually works pretty good. If you guys have any techniques that you've tried and work really well that you don't see that I've used in the video, I'd love to hear about them. So leave a comment down in the description and uh, let me know. Now here is my favorite method. This works almost 90% of the time, 90, probably 95% of the time. And it's just an SOS pad. And you just wet it a little bit with the water and scrub on that adhesive and it just comes right off. I'm just gonna rinse it off and you'll see how nice and clean it comes up. Nice and crystal clear. Now another method that I've heard about is peanut butter. So I'm gonna give it a try. It says to spread it on liberally and then let it sit for about five or 10 minutes and let the oils penetrate into the adhesive. Okay, we've been 15 minutes and let's see if that scrapes off. I'm finding already that it, it's not working very well. It's not really lifting the adhesive at all. Um, I really don't know about this technique. Maybe some people have had some good results with it, but it's not working for me today. Now let's get this peanut butter washed off. And there you can see the residue that's still there that the peanut butter didn't take off. So back to the SOS pad and I'm gonna show you how easily it'll take it right off. I actually have a video that I just made on how I paint my glass jars and get the paint to adhere to them really well. I'll put a link below in the description so you can watch that after you watch this video. Crystal clean and perfect. Okay, now here's a method that I don't really like to use. It does work, but it is a chemical. My husband's a power sport mechanic and this is brake clean. He always has it in the garage. So if I have something really, really stubborn, it does work and it does take the residue off. If you're using it, make sure you do it in a good, well ventilated area. Keep a glove on. If you have, don't have a glove on and you have nail polish and you spray this on your nails, say goodbye to your nail polish. I've learned that from experience. As you can see, it did take it off, but it worked just as well as the SOS pad. Now there's this patch on the back and I'm gonna show you another method, which is WD-40. And again, I don't really like to use this. I'd rather stick to something natural, but it does work. Again, if you're going to use this, 
make sure you wear a glove and a good ventilated area. Okay, now this gin label, the labels came off easy, but there seems to be like a painted label on the side, and I'm gonna see if I can try to get that off. Now I've read online that if you soak a paper towel in vinegar and wrap it around the bottle and put it in a plastic bag and let it soak overnight, that it will take that paint off. So let's give it a try. Okay, next morning, let's see if this worked. We'll untie the bag, we'll take the paper towel off and let's hope that painted label has come off. So far, it doesn't, doesn't look very promising. Doesn't look like it's going to work. And I'm kind of even wondering if it is paint. Maybe it's etched in there, but it doesn't look like it's etched. Um, I'm gonna give it a try with the SOS pad, but it's not even budging or scraping off. I'm just gonna wet the SOS pad a little bit and give it a scrub, but it's not budging. So I'm not quite sure what is even on this bottle, whether it's painted or etched right in. If you've ever ran into this, leave me a comment down below in the description. Okay, and the next method I'm going to show you is, this is an easy one too. If you don't wanna soak your wine bottles and you have a heat gun, then this technique works perfect. I've tried to use my hair dryer, and my personal hair dryer doesn't get hot enough to remove the labels, but my husband has a heat gun, so um, I'm using his. And you just go up and down over the label, probably for about a minute to loosen all that glue, and it should peel right off. And there you have the glass bottle. The labels just peeled right off. No glue residue, worked perfect. Okay, that was fun. And I got to try a couple techniques that I've never tried before that I've always wanted to. Um, I'd right go back to what is the best for me though. Hot water, Dawn dish soap, and vinegar. Let them soak, let the labels come off. If the labels don't come off, use a butter knife, scrape them off, and any adhesive that's left is the SOS pad. 95% of the time it works perfect and you don't have to try any other method. And my second favorite is the heat gun. Um, and that works perfect for taking labels off of wine bottles if you don't want to have a great big mess in your kitchen sink. I hope you've enjoyed today's uh, tutorial and you've learned something and get those bottles cleaned and get crafting. Do you agree, Tina? She doesn't care. <laughs> have a great day, guys, and thanks for watching.